Um, I want to ask you, so if I, we were having that, that birthday party of yours that we had to cancel from COVID and you had yeah. to invite two people, either dead or alive, e either actual or fictional, who would those two people be and why? Gosh, you know, I think it'd be both my grandmas. Um, I was very, I was very close with both of them. And I don't think I really appreciated what I had with them while they were alive. Unfortunately, I think that's true of a lot of people. Okay. And as I've gotten older, I think they would both be tickled that I'd want to, you know, have them come and hang out with me. And I'd be so excited to bring them into my life. You know, I think they would just be so like, just like, oh, of course, I don't know if they would have come to Chicago. I may have had to go all the way back home to Nebraska where I'm from, but still the idea that I would have wanted to seek them out and just have some genuine and unique conversations that only they were able to provide, right? Because they're a different generation. They grew up in the Great Depression. They, they yeah. saw World War II. They saw, you know, a lot of different changes over the course of the time that they were alive. And I, I feel like if they were still alive, they'd first off, they'd be a little blown away by how much technology is kind of seeping in. It doesn't really matter if you are an awesome, amazing technologist, or if you're just getting started, right. there's all different walks of life. And I think they'd be super tickled by that. And then super, just like, just blown away that I would be like, let's go seek my grandma's out and let's go have some conversations with them. They'd be like, Oh, and it, that's delightful. So mind you, the delightful. language that Shannon uses between just saying tickled and delightful, that just makes my day. So <laughs> thank you for saying tickled. And by the way, my last guest also talked a lot about, about, you know, sitting down and talking to the previous generation and having those conversations yeah. uh, that we just don't do anymore. And, you yeah. know, I'm fascinated by when I find out someone was in World War II. I mean, I just told you a splendid story that was World War II inspired. I mean, this is a world we just don't understand. So mm -hmm. I think you're absolutely right. We need to ask more of those who, you know, come before us because they know so much more than we do. Totally, totally.